As summer was coming to an end, two men in Texas were at a pool enjoying the end of summer before fall comes in. And as they were enjoying it, one man came up and began to antagonize them, calling them out of their name and disrespecting them. As they got out of the pool to confront the man, the man brandished a firearm. So the two men continued to go back and forth with him and then decided, well, he does have this firearm. We're just going to back off. But as they were backing off, they were still going back and forth with the man. One of the guys even responded and told the man with the pistol, hey, I'm going to catch you one day without that pistol, and then it's going to be trouble for you. So as the man got back into the pool, the man with the pistol walked to the edge of the pool and set the pistol on the ground. And when he did that, that's when things took a strange turn. One of the men inside the pool grabbed the pistol and pulled the pistol in the pool, also pulling the man in the pool with the pistol. And that's when they say, you don't have to bring a gun to a pool. We're just here to swim. And this is prime example because he brought this gun to the swimming pool, antagonized a couple of guys, and thought that they would be scared of a pistol. But what happened turned ugly for him because they went to work. Believe you me. And that's why I say, people, you don't have to bring your pistol everywhere you go. What is you bringing your pistol to the wedding for? Why are you bringing your pistol to the supermarket? Why are you bringing your pistol to the pool? Because first and foremost, it's going to anger people that here you are at a place where we are enjoying ourselves. And you come with this pistol thinking you're a tough guy. And in turn, you're not really about that life. As we can see, he wasn't about that life because he put his pistol on the edge of the pool and allowed them to get a hold to it, snatch him in that pool, choke him out, beat the brakes off of him. Welcome to Splash Mountain. That's why it's not a good idea because they ended up with the pistol, right? Now, what in turn if they were extra angry and just decided, you know what? You pulled it out, now we're going to use it on you. So and he should be feeling lucky that they didn't use it on him. Everybody's not afraid of a pistol, which that shows in this video. Because even during the altercation, the one guy was still trying to walk up on him. His buddy pulled him back and told him, nah, 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 because... He, his buddy knew that this guy had this pistol. But he wasn't tripping off the pistol because the way he was eyeing him, like, if I get close enough, I'm going to take that pistol from him. Because he can see that he wasn't holding that pistol like somebody that was really about that. And that's the thing. Everybody with a gun is not about that. Just because you have a gun doesn't mean you'll use one. And this is prime example why everybody shouldn't be walking around with no pistol knowing that you scared and shaking like a leaf in the in the winter because this is what can happen to you and with that i'm gonna say this is the news in you north east west south unite from every alley in cali intersection and back street subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door <laughs>